Yes. There's no longer a barrier to entry. There's no longer a barrier to entry. Anyone can get involved in this. Anyone can buy Bitcoin. Hey guys, welcome back to Clockwise Crypto. Hope you guys are moving forward in everything that you do. Diving right into the markets here. Bitcoin exploding. Taking a look at coin market cap here. Bitcoin at $54,576 and counting and uh, pulling back a little bit, but then going back up and just staying within range of breaking 54,000. Huge news here. Ethereum though, Ethereum pumping up clearing 3000 currently at 3100 and uh you know a ton of momentum just in these two uh we have seen a lot of altcoins make good moves uh pretty you know if you look at the 24 hour percentage uh pretty much a lot of green a lot of green and really if you take a look at crypto bubbles i mean crypto bubbles would have would have it pretty much that you know the sky is falling and and you know it's everything's green so uh paying attention to crypto bubbles here that we that we see it's just you know everything everything is green so uh you know okay we have three we have four or five that aren't green uniswap was pumping like all last week so uniswap deserves a heat check okay but we have pulse chain like a lot of a lot of the pulse chain people out there uh, you know, I know we did a video about, th about that maybe a couple months ago. A lot of Pulse Chain people are going crazy waiting for this pump. Uh, it's up 11 percent and uh, a ton of ton of price action going on. Even Gala. Gala is at three cents. Man, uh, I wish I would have bought more at a penny. But uh, Gala at three cents as well. And uh, pretty much everything taking off right now. So diving into coin market cap you guys know how i feel about crypto fear greed 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 is at 76 so i'm always on point i'm always paying attention when greed is at this level um you know still accumulating but very i'm looking for that little dip in in, in the pullback i'm looking for a red so i'm looking for uh, a 24 hour red so uh you won't really find that right now uh only thing you'll find that on is uniswap but uniswap for the past week like uniswap's up as of right now 38 percent for the week it was i think it was up over 40 percent uh but uh you know other than that i'm looking for a red for you know those quality projects you even have h bar up there uh at 11 cents i believe you look at h bar 11 cents cardano is hanging around and this is going to be for another video but look at how the two will correlate in price action and let that let that let that thought sink in we'll talk about it in another video but look at how those two correlate in price and uh we'll talk about that in another video let's take a look at this uh article avalanche of institutional capital enters crypto markets for the fourth straight week of inflows according to corn shares so digital asset manager corn says inst institutions poured 598 million dollars into crypto investment products last week for the fourth consecutive week of inflows so let me just wrap wrap your head around this for a sec there's going to be movement that we have never seen before okay so when you hear people talk about bitcoin going to three hundred thousand, you got to remember the amount of money that's going into these crypto products that we didn't have last bull run we didn't have the last two bull runs we didn't have this so remember that over half a million dollars has poured into the market okay and this is pretty much the fourth consecutive week pay attention to that when people are saying oh it'll never happen oh crypto will never get that high because of the bulls listen there's things that aren't factored in that need to be factored in right now so people talk about bitcoin going to 300k we've never seen anything like that before okay just remember remember that so taking a look go, diving through the rest of this article here um you know this is huge news huge news um you know we look at the weekly crypto asset flows for the past four weeks insane so everyone that's saying oh it could never look things are changing you have new information now that you need to consider before just being completely married to the four-year cycle okay 
So according to Corn Shares, um, they're saying the U.S. saw the most inflows at 610 million, despite Grayscale suffering a 636 million in outflows over the same period. Brazil and Switzerland saw minor inflows of 8.2 million and uh, U.S. 2.1 respectively, while both Canada and Sweden saw outflows as well. So uh, here in this article, they're saying per usual, Bitcoin enjoyed the lion's share of inflows at over over half a billion. Short Bitcoin products saw much smaller inflows of 3.9 million. Okay. So, um, you know, looking at this, the inflows are coming to Bitcoin and Ethereum right now, as you can see. While Chainlink and XRP saw inflows of just 1.8 million and 1.1 million, Bitcoin and Ethereum are killing it right now in comparison. So, multi asset crypto investment products and those investing in more than one crypto bought 6.8 million in inflows last week. Litecoin and Cardano brought, brought in 1 million and uh 0.4 million over the same period so litecoin is still <laughs> is still producing and uh drawing interest so i know a lot of people talk about you know uh litecoin's dead no one talks about litecoin guys it's all about where the money is going not necessarily your personal opinion of it right <laughs> so uh love what i'm seeing here when it comes to just the different circumstances that we've never seen before we've never seen crypto products generate so much revenue like it is now since it's, since the etf approval we just haven't seen it okay so love what i'm seeing i think those people that were on the sidelines prior po you know uh you know before the etf approval are now engaged and ready to go uh you know with uh, the the ETF approval now, so love what I'm seeing here. Crypto bubbles, uh, you know, something to pay attention to. Hex people, you know, those the hexagons and 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 the post chain lovers are loving the the push right now. Cardano going strong. Theta, Theta is an OG. So if you guys know anything about Theta Network, Theta has been around a couple cycles now. Theta's been around. Theta Theta's been around a while. And uh, they had a 35.6% gain, okay? So it's a lot of things are coming. If we look at the week, for the week, and this is for today, for the week, uh, VeChain and, and, you know, pretty much a ton of momentum. Gala up 16.9% for the week. And uh, just the bull, the bull run typically is coming. Typically what happens here is you'll see like Bitcoin and Ethereum push, Okay typically what happens now i get things are changing change now but typically what will happen is you'll see bitcoin ethereum push but there won't be that much movement with all coins then you'll see bitcoin ethereum pretty much level off and all coins will pretty much just zoom past just just push massive pushes okay and it's it'll be it'll be every day for maybe like 45 like i want to say like a month at least it'll just be like every day like what we're seeing now with bubbles if you look at the day imagine seeing this but every day that's when you know the bull market's here like you'll see prices like you'll see coins go from three cents to three dollars in like i want to say short a short period of time i can't even pinpoint an exact time frame i want to say it was pretty fast pretty fast you have like massive pumps so i would say you know people are like what is the bull like bull run like people message me what is, you know how do you know you'll know when you start seeing all coins just completely hit new all uh, all time highs you'll see bitcoin hit an all time high and typically when that happens when it's leveled off you know it runs off typically the altcoins will follow more aggressively though it'll be extremely aggressive okay so i have the chart up here for bitcoin and uh, this is one of the charts we have going to the weekly time frame. Uh, you see where our trend line is. We were waiting for that third touch unless it cleared this uh, this level of resistance. So uh, cl we've clearly broke that. And I am still paying attention to this this being overbought, this so stochastic being overbought. I definitely think we need to pay attention to that. Uh, but 
we've we've cleared it clearly and going to the daily continuing to make new highs right now okay so i still am paying attention to the stochastic though guys i am not sleeping on that um and you know how how i'm paying attention to it is by focusing on uh you know where are the red days at and are we you know right now for seven for a week we're at 5.74 percent with bitcoin so i'm following bitcoin like a hawk because this is going to dictate everything else it's going to dictate everything and that's the beautiful thing about crypto uh it's going to dictate everything you're able to really track it so uh you know you guys know how i feel about h bar h bar is at 11 cents so we'll talk about this in another video but pay attention to how pay attention to h bar's price action and do your research going back to cardano's price action guys i think you might see some similarities that could potentially have some upside for you and your journey within crypto guys so definitely wanted to share that uh and i love and i'm excited really for the opportunity to really be around for this like i said in the previous video guys i'm very very passionate about this i think that this is the avenue to change people's lives forever because there's no longer a barrier to entry there's no longer a barrier to entry anyone can get involved in this anyone can buy bitcoin okay like anyone can so there's no you need a certain dollar amount now there's no you need to have uh, a quarter million dollars in net worth just to get a seat at the table there's none of that at least not for now and everyone has an opportunity to at least open the door and step in the door okay so pay attention to that guys and bitcoin you know i'm very um excited to see this i really hope that this is the bull run um but i want to see levels broken i just don't want to get up here and 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 uh you know this be a pre-havening event right no one wants to talk about this but i'm gonna talk about it this be a pre-having event pre-having uh hype and then we just tank down to our to our trend line right so i'm very cautious because i understand and I, and I see the stochastics right there i see the stochastics and it's overbought and it's been overbought since pretty much since september uh actually since october see me see here october it's been overbought since october went down didn't even clear 50 went back up and you know i'm paying attention to that okay i am still paying attention to that no one wants to hear that but um we'll see how the having takes place uh the reason why i am paying uh you know really staying on the fence when it comes to uh you know really just giving a bias because of this institutional money that's coming in it's it's been confirmed we've seen it so this four-year cycle right that we've that we've uh that we've went by for for you know a couple cycles now I, th I think things change now, guys. I think things change because of that institutional capital that's coming. So th I, I, you can see it like it's being reported. You can see it. You can feel it. Things are changing. OK, big money's coming in. Even the people, even the Jamie Diamonds of the world, JP Morgan Chase that try to talk crazy about Bitcoin. They're probably in it <laughs> like they're probably in it. Mark Cuban did it. OK. Mark Cuban did the same thing. Talk crazy about Bitcoin. Oh, I'd rather have bananas. And then he owns Bitcoin. And he owns Ethereum. Like, come on. Like, pay attention. Like, so things are changing. Don't buy into what they are saying. Buy into what they are doing. Okay. And like I said, the barrier to entry is there's you can do it yourself. You don't need to know somebody. You don't need the plug. You don't need con be you don't need to be connected. You can do it yourself, okay? So this right here, the institutional capital uh that's entering the markets for 4 weeks straight, that is what I think differentiates the 4-year cycle that we're used to to what we are seeing right now. We never had an ETF approval, okay? We've never had this much capital enter the markets at this rate okay so that's why i say when i, I don't i don't blink twice when when 250k three hundred thousand dollar bitcoin is on the table because the money that's on the sidelines the money not even on the sidelines the money that's coming in is unlike anything we've ever seen 
So very excited about this, guys. Just wanted to give you guys a market update. Hope you guys got some value out of this video. Keep moving forward in everything that you do. We'll see you soon.